there are very few independent bookstores in the nation, and there are even fewer that are black owned. I am a Flint resident, and I'm an Afro-Latina woman too, so I'm very proud of my identity. We're not just a bookstore, we are a social hub, we have art. A space to showcase and highlight black, brown, people of color, artists, as you can see, the beautiful art on the wall. It just makes us feel empowered to just be able to see like reflections of ourselves in downtown and have a space where you just feel like at home and feel comfortable. I couldn't think of a better place for my art to be. What I love about Kama is that it really does become kind of that watering hole of sorts where many different people come. I can't say that I've ever known of a sole black owned bookstore. They're a young couple and you want <laughs> the young people to strive and be awesome. <laughs> I fell in love with reading at the University of Michigan Flint and I'm like, man, like this knowledge needs to be shared. I met Egypt in 2015. She ended up in a course I taught on comparative social policy. Peggy Kahn really challenged me to think differently about not only the world, but myself. I have seldom seen such persistence and resilience. <laughs> Being able to press through external barriers is a sign of a certain kind of self-confidence. Flint is in this renaissance period. We're seeing so much creative ideas to bring our neighborhood and to bring our city back to life. And it's cool to be a part of it. You can start with this, this dream. So the figure on the front side has her UM Flint sweatshirt draped over her shoulder. And then the, the graduate at the top has this just really regal, grand, I've made it feeling. I graduated last year. I didn't get to walk, but I did get a mural. So I was very honored. <laughs> Kama has really, I think, grown into even way more than what Egypt had initially envisioned. I think there's been a lot greater embracing of culture, especially here downtown. It is wonderful to see the revitalization of downtown, and I want it to continue to flourish, and I want to be a part of it. What I do know is that people know that when they come in here, they feel represented, and they feel heard, and they feel part of the process. I feel like, honestly, I'm living in my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I'm here in this world, and it's to help.